Stevie Wonder Superstition on BBC Radio Wales putting the biggest smile on my face and I hope yours too this morning it is 60 years tomorrow since the beginnings of Motown so we well we're indulging ourselves really uh, celebrating the music that's as much loved now as it ever was uh, it seems John Motors on the line now a radio DJ from Essex morning John Good morning, Dot. Uh, it's, it's just, you know, this morning, can you believe 2019, here we are uh, still playing Motown and still having messages in this morning saying how much joy it's been bringing them. Uh, is, is that your experience of Motown, John? Absolutely. I mean, you say you can't believe it, but actually, I, I, think, I think we all can believe it, really, because it's still, as you said, as influential today as it has been for the last, you know, 60 years or 50 years. You know, it's been such a long time. And the, the songs are just timeless. They don't date. You can still play them. You've just played one of my favourite ever tunes, actually, uh, Superstition, which is a wonderful tune. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it, it's just uh, a, a unique label. I mean, there really was nothing like it before, and there hasn't been nothing like it since. I mean, I'm getting messages in this morning of people who've seen uh, Motown live, seen uh, seen performances, seen, seen bands, seen individuals perform. Have you ever, have you ever gone to see anybody? Uh, actually, well, actually, uh, a couple of years ago, I went to see Martha Reeves and the Vandellas actually at the Cornbury Festival, and um, they've still got it. I mean, absolutely first class knockout, and um, just I tell you what, it, it, it amazed me how good she was uh, because you know a lot of the original Motown artists are no spring chickens, but uh, no, she was absolutely fantastic, um, and um, still going. I just, what kind of, I mean, I'm asking this morning about the influence and about what Motown means to, to each and every one of us. I mean, what kind of influence has it had on you, John? Well, I mean, um, well, obviously Motown influenced a lot of the bands um, that, that I like. Uh, so, for example, I'm a big Rolling Stones fan. Huge Motown fans they were, and they are. And, of course, the Stones influenced other bands like Aerosmith, Guns N' Roses, and you can trace it all the way through, David Bowie, uh, right the way through to today. You know, one of, uh, it, and, and you'd be surprised where they influence as well. Uh, so, for example, you've got to, one of the best British punk bands right now, Vian Assembly. Uh, now, if you ask their drummer, who is uh, his biggest influence, um, he will actually say uh, Richard Pistol. Now, Richard Pistol was the drummer that played on tracks like Please, Mr. Postman, You Can't Hurry Love, Papa Was a Rolling Stone. This is a punk band. Um, you mentioned as well a female influence. Again, one of the, the top British rock bands, uh, all female rock bands at the moment, Joan of Arc, huge Martha Reeves fans, huge mm-hmm. Supreme fans as well. So it's still got the influence today, you know. It's just lovely talking about it this morning and I'm learning so much because you're talking about the, these names as if we've all heard of them, but many people won't have, of course. And it's just brilliant hearing all the stories actually this morning from, from you, John, and from, from Simon, from Gareth earlier on. Thank you, John, for joining me this morning. Um, I know Tony's on the line. Um, Tony's in Abercrombie. Morning, Tony. Good morning, John.